Are you stuck on trying to get billboards to work? Or maybe your custom images are just looking a bit different from the original. Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, it's Zekin. The last major free update introduced us to billboards of all different shapes and sizes, which allow us to import in custom images and videos. Now, they're fairly easy to set up, but if it's giving you a hard time, hopefully with this video, I can make your life just a bit easier. So first off, once you've decided on an image you want to use, you go to your documents folder, then Frontier Developments, Planet Zoo, and User Media. And this is where you paste your custom images or videos. I pasted this little test image which I put together. So in game, you select your billboard, then go to Override Texture. Next, you move ahead to the folder icon, and this is where you find your image. So if you don't see your image initially, you click on Refresh User Folder. So now you click on your image, which you like to change, and you have to click on OK for it to save it. Now we have our image on our billboard in game. For the habitat billboard, you have to link it to an animal before you can be able to override a texture. Same kind of goes for the tall vertical information board. You have to select the topic before you can be able to override the texture as well. So yeah. Now here's one problem you might run into when opening up your image. So if you notice, this image is kind of sort of squeezed in, but there is a way to solve that. So you want to go back to your documents folder, then open up the image and click on edit. Next, you go to the aspect ratio and change it to 16 by 9, which is the aspect ratio for large rectangular billboards in game. Depending on the shape of your image, it may cut out some parts, so keep that in mind. After all that's done, you click on save. Now if you go back in game, the image you see on the billboard will be in its normal size. Sometimes you may have to reload your zoo for the texture to refresh. Another problem you might face is that the colors on the billboard might look a bit washed out compared to the original. So there is a simple fix for this. So once again, you select your image and hit on edit. Now we want to save our image. However, if we go ahead to save it, you'll see that option is grayed out. To enable this, you want to just fiddle around with the um, crop and you don't have to change it, just scale it in and out so it seems like you did something and now you can save it. Now if you go back into the game and refresh it, you'll see the color of the image is restored and it's pretty much the same as the original. Now if you want to create your own image, you have to first keep in mind the image size requirements for each type of billboard. So to show you you don't really need any fancy editing software, I'm going to be using Microsoft Paint for this. So once you've loaded up Paint, you want to go ahead to File and go down to Properties. Now over here, we can adjust the size of the canvas. So I'm going to set it to 1824 by 1024, which is the size for the largest billboard in the game. So now that we have our canvas, I'm just going to draw up quickly something really random. Now, once you're satisfied with what you've done, you want to go to file and click on save. Remember to save it in the user media folder. So if we head back into the game and load up our image, you'll see we have it all loaded up. So you don't really need too fancy stuff, but if you want to go into more detail, I recommend a kind of sort of editing website, which is pretty much similar to um, Photoshop. So it's called photop.com. So over here, you can get some pretty advanced tools if you want to dive into those stuff. But if you just want to create some simple stuff for your zoos, then Microsoft Paints got you covered. So for videos, you just paste it in the same folder, but they have to be in the WebM format. So if you place an mp4 video in the folder, it wouldn't show up in your list. So you have to convert that into a WebM and there's a way you can do that. For that, I'm going to be using VLC Media Player. So if you don't have that installed on your PC, I'll leave a link below to where you can get it. So once you have it loaded up, you want to go to media and then go to convert slash save. This is where you can load up your file. So you click on add and you locate the video in which you want to convert. Now, once you've located it, you click on open and you click on the convert slash save icon on the bottom. This is where you bring up the format. So you scroll over to the WebM format, which is this one. And then after that, you click on browse to save the name of your video. So you go to the Frontier Developments user media folder 
and specify the name of the video and click on save. After that, you click start and this should start the process of converting the video. It may seem like nothing's working, but if you look on the lower part of the VLC media player, you'd see it starting the conversion process. So you have to wait a little while depending on the length of your video. Here are a few things to keep in mind when working with the billboards. So when you go to the list of all the images you have in your folder in game, they are arranged in alphabetical order with the capitalized ones coming in first. So that means all the ABCDs capitalized would come before the ones that start with the lower cases. Out of all the different compatible formats, I've noticed that the JPEG, PNG, and the TIFF formats are the best to work with. The other ones um, kind of seemed a bit washed out and even after trying the method of trying to um, restore the colors, they still retain this kind of washed out kind of look. So each billboard comes in two versions, the lit and non-lit. So you have to keep that in mind whenever you're building so you, you don't have to use the lit version for billboards. You don't want to light up at night. Also, obviously, the lit versions are going to be a little more tasking on your PC, so you have to keep track of how many you're placing down in your zoo. Now I'll be sharing with you some useful ways in which you can implement the billboards. First up, you can use them to make custom backgrounds for your Steam Workshop thumbnails. So if you have a blueprint or habitat that doesn't quite fit the background of the biome or anything, or you just want to have something fun, then you can use the billboards for that. If you want to know more about how you can go about it, I have a whole video covering this which should pop up right now so you can go check it out when the video is over. Similar to the last one, you can use billboards for custom murals of both habitat and exhibit animals which makes it feel way more realistic. Next, you can use them for making implied exhibit and aquariums. With footage from exhibits or aquariums, you can easily use them to make some really cool looking implied habitats for the little animals which may not even be in the game yet. Also, they allow for custom textures, so if you found that one special floor texture you'd like to use, then you can load it up into the game and use it in your zoo. You can use the billboards to import in your own custom signs and education boards. From launch, we've always wanted the ability to do this and this really unlocks a different level of creativity and customization that we've never seen in the game before. If you're still having this problem with water in the game, be sure to watch this video so I can help you out. And if you want to see more of my tutorials, be sure to watch the playlist. If this video is helpful, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you later guys and until then, bye for now.